The thing I like best about being at Belhaven is that Christian worldview is central to everything that we do. For example, uh, in the English department, uh, in one's sophomore year, no matter what you're majoring in, you're going to take your, your world lit survey courses. And when you do that, uh, they, are, they are interstitially connected with uh, philosophy courses, with history courses, where we intertwine uh, while I'm uh, leading discussions in romantic poetry. Uh, in another course, they're viewing romantic artwork. They're, they're talking about uh, philosophies that inculcate and promote romanticism. While that's going on, the history department is running them through the phalanx of, of movements that, that uh, preceded, were related to, uh, and, and, the, and it all ties together uh, in, a, in a unified, cohesive whole under the aegis of the Lordship of Christ. I really like, I love studying literature, but what I like about the way Belhaven teaches literature is that there's a lot of real world application. We're not just studying ancient texts for the sake of studying ancient texts. Uh, Dr. Hubley especially is really good at illustrating themes and points from the poems and essays and novels that we read um, in real world situations. So he'll tell stories from his life that directly apply to the material we're studying, which both makes it more interesting to learn about and also more memorable because when you can remember a story behind something, that's what really uh, drives home the theme and what makes you later on when you're thinking about something happening in your life, you remember why Shakespeare is relevant and why Milton is relevant to your life. You know, these aren't just like dry texts that we're studying in a very scholarly manner, although we do study them in a scholarly way. You also have the, the real world stories that, that give it a sense of purpose and meaning beyond pure academia. We're, we're not interested at all in having you memorize a list of factoids and then you forget about it for the rest of your life because it, it's meaningless. I mean, think about all the courses you took where you, you would be tempted to ask, why are we doing this? And then the answer was, well, because it's required. That's nonsense. Here, it all relates to life. Um, how, how do these seemingly disparate courses meld together uh, in, into a unified, cohesive whole to be studied? And then how does all of that relate to one's living of actual life? I applied for an internship last summer at a publication in my hometown. Um, and uh, Dr. Hubley actually helped me with that, getting all of that together, writing a recommendation letter. And uh, I got the internship and wrote uh, for print and online uh, with that little magazine about arts and culture and food and stuff, everything in the area, which was a really great experience. And I also um, got to study abroad in Northern Ireland um, fall, uh, two years ago, and or a year ago, sorry. Uh, and it was a great experience, and that was uh, aided so much by the English faculty. They were very uh, pro uh, studying abroad, very helpful with that, uh, helping me get everything signed and ready to go, and uh, very encouraging along the way. So I think that without the encouragement of the faculty and the help and everything that was given to me, it would have been a lot harder to go, so I'm thankful for that. Here's, here's the uniqueness of the Bellhaven program. We're almost the only show in town in this regard. You can count on your fingers, I would guess, the number of collegiate English departments in North America where everybody in the department believes that language has meaning. Now let that soak in for a minute. If, if you don't start with language has meaning, what do you have? A big bunch of nothing. The This school has an overarching hermeneutic. This department has one, and it is the in the in the study of the science of the interpretation of printed material. Hermeneutics, language. Here, we we hold to it. It has meaning. It has meaning that is sacrosanct. That is inviolate, and a, and a text doesn't mean whatever any disparate groups of people might think it means. And we don't teach bad sociology here. We teach good literature. The community here at Belhaven is really unique and it's really 
uh, beneficial to your growth as an individual rather than harmful and just the people the people that you meet it's not it's not so um, cutthroat and competitive like we're the students are interested in building each other up and so are the teachers and there's you know there's going to be be conflicts from time to time but just because we're all in it together there's a bigger sense of those small things don't matter you know it's um, the end goal is just helping one another along and so definitely the community is my favorite thing about Bellhaven. <laughs>